Welcome to GrayPrimer.com. My name is Nick. I'm your host. And on today's episode, it's all about the other side's twisted horrors. Horrors. This is manufactured by Weird. Uh, Weird Miniatures also, also from Weird Miniatures, Malifaux. The problem I've had with Weird Miniatures in the past, especially the ones built from sprue, for me anyway, they were super fragile. I had quite a few issues putting them together. I just, I ended up, you know, just being like, please no one touch that now that it's on the shelf, because if you touch it, it'll probably break again. These are pre-built. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that uh, because I love their sculpts. I think their design work is phenomenal. I mean, it comes from some, like if you go onto their website, you go onto Weird Ventures website or anywhere that sells um, weird minis, it's just like they're grotesque and twisted and weird and nightmarish. And, you know, I love the design. I have not loved putting them together. Yeah. Pre-built though. Let's see what they look like, because I am holding out a lot of hope for these. And certainly if these turn out to be really good, I'll be looking at a lot more of Weird Mini's uh, pre-built range. Uh, so we'll see. Hang tight. Okay, folks, so here we go. We're going to have a look at the box of uh, Twisted Horrors from the other side, uh, manufactured by Weird Miniatures. Um, weird Games? Sorry, Weird Games, not Weird Miniatures. The only other experience I've had of a Weird Miniature set was um, Malifaux Shikome, Shikome, not sure. And I also had the Carrion Emissary. The Carrion Emissary was a lot of fun to put together, some quite big gaps when, when I'd actually built it and it needed quite a bit of filling, quite a bit of cleaning up. Um, but it was an impressive looking miniature. The Shikome one, or Shikome, whatever it is, was not a good experience putting together. That was absolute frustration. The connection, there was, I think, two or three minis in the box, but they're kind of these winged bird demon ladies. Uh, perfect for Zinch, if you want to use them in, in Sigmar or in Blood Bowl, something like that. The one that really frustrated me was the one who had sort of her wings out and was kind of taken off or just about the land. So she had one contact point with the ground, which was her foot and her ankle was just constantly snapping. I could not get that thing to sell. It would not glue. It was too skinny to pin and it just kept snapping off at the ankle. I eventually got it to sort of settle, but it I wouldn't even think about painting it because I just have a feeling that, you know, even putting it onto um, the little painting handle from Citadel. And it's a shame because it's a beautiful mini. Absolutely beautiful sculpt, but just, no, impossible to work with. Uh, but anyway, that was my experience with the weird games that are uh, miniatures that are on a sprue. Uh, these ones, the Twisted Horrors, thankfully are pre-assembled. Uh, so the plus of that is I don't have to worry about them being uh, a, an exercise in frustration when I'm putting them together. But maybe I have to worry about what happens if they're not quite put together right. Maybe they're like sometimes the way you would get with WizKids or Reaper, which are pre-assembled, that perhaps you, you might actually have to dismantle them, shave off a bit of the plastic, and reassemble them to avoid some of the, the big gaps that you can get. But we'll see. The other side, we've got some more branding here. Cult of the Burning Man. I guess that's their um, faction. Is that right? And nine pre-assembled minis, bases, stat cards, twisted horrors. Uh, weird Games logo there. Wow. These guys are creepy. Very much like a ghoul sort of stance there, which is kind of cool. And just another representation there. Oh, is that the same one, but just painted? Nice, that's a nice idea. I like that. Painted or concept art, one of the two. Um, and then sort of showing on the back, what you get. If anyone wants to pause and read, 
by all means, do the thing. But let's get in there. Oh, plastic tray, nice. Okay, stuff fell out. So let's see what that was first. Twisted horrors, so there's the unit card, I take it. And what all that is about. Whoa. Oh, it's a movement tray. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what is the size of these vases? Uh, so these are movement trays. Oh, they're solid. They're really solid plastic. So you get three of those. And then the smaller, I guess, 25 mil vases. Oh, try to get some light. Oh, nice branding and everything. Hmm. The other side branding. Hang on. Let me just get the macro light on this so you can see it properly. Yeah, that's lovely. Oh, I like that. I like these. Uh, there, there's no um, construction uh, on the inside here because sometimes you get the ones that were uh, manufactured to be either slaughter bases or non-slaughter. And the ones that turn into slaughter get like cut through, I guess, by the machining. And the ones that turn out to be non-slaughter still have sort of the reinforcement, the sort of shape that across the underside. These don't. And the reason I'm going on about that is because it means I can put a magnet in there. It would be sometimes you get minis that are just a little bit too fragile or a little bit too top heavy and they can fall over. Um, my recent experience of that would be some of the, let's see if I can get one, like these sort of gargoyle -y ones from Reaper. Um, and occasionally you would have to put like a weight into the base of those if you were putting them onto a 25 or a 32 mil base. Anyway, so that's a good thing. If there's a hollow in the bottom, I can put a magnet in there. Oh, these will be cut. These are pretty special. No. <laughs> Ooh, they're a strange sort of plastic. All right, let's get these individually out. Ooh, I am so sorry, but as soon as I saw that, it, it reminded me of Robin Williams' face. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but anyway. Oh, the detail in those hands. That is just so cool. Oh, man, that, oh, I really appreciate that detail. Oh, the tentacles just coming straight out of his back there as well. Everything about that looks painful. Very cool. <laughs> and even though it's going on to a base, they still took the time to sculpt out the little toes. <laughs> what do we got? What? Look at that face. Huge level of detail in these. It's the same sort of plastic, actually, as the uh, Malifaux stuff, I've realized. Is that sort of uh, darker gray. It's got the same sort of sheen to it. But I'm so glad I don't have to put these together. Just have to shave off. Looks like a little bit of a mold mark on the foot there. So that is a very minor cleanup job on those. This guy is such a tentacly mess. The stomach opened up as well. Possibly teeth in there. Wow, and the whole head split down the middle. Uh, very uh, Resident Evil, actually, that one. See? Ah, uh, this is the, the one from the, the box art, the sort of the ghoul looking one. Very nice. It, you definitely have that sort of, I mean, these are 
either they're fully controlled by this infection or they're horrifically tortured by it or in different stages. Look at that face too. Oh, these are great so far. Get focus. I was, I was trying to find out where this person's face was, but there it is in the top hat. Was, they got the walking cane and everything going. Oh. And the tentacle coming at the top of the top hat. Oh, man. Oh, I'd applaud, but I would drop the mini. That's cracker. Love the, the clothing just sort of falling off there. Like, it's just given up, you know. I don't know if this is fabric or what, but that just is magnificent. The detail in the face there. Real expression. Brilliant. Big dude to last. Oh, this is the one that's bent over backwards. Pain. Quite a female face. It is female. But. Ah, that hand just doesn't look right. But, in a, you know, in a good way, in a creepy sort of agonized way. Loving the hair as well. Like everything just, just works in this mini. <laughs> Heeled boots. The elegance to those. Wow. Whoa, the head split in two. Oh, and the tentacle just come right out from the middle. Oh, ho, ho, ho. There's just lots of sort of gooey, melty stuff as well. That tentacle and the split head. Wow, these sculpts are gorgeous. And there really is not much work to be done on these either. Um, the pre-sculpted base here, I guess you could trim that off, but or you, if you're putting grass or mud or something onto the um, the 25 mil base there, you wouldn't really have to you just hide it under that. But that's brilliant. The only thing I'd say is these these gooey drops seem too large in some way. Um, like they should be slightly more refined, slightly smaller, thinner, gooey drops than they are. Who cares? <laughs> Looks good. I don't care. It's such a, a little criticism. Oh, ho, ho. Is that another one with the split head? Can't even. Oh no, there's the head at the back. <laughs> this. Oh, this one. They came out the chest. They look like millipedes or something. They actually look dead, don't they? It looks like this this person is long since expired, and the creatures are making the, the, the body walk around. It doesn't look like there's, there's much juice left in that body. It's pretty badly decayed away. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. So this, this one is quite, quite fragile because of the, I guess, because it's mostly decayed away into just bones and skin at this stage. Um, so that would be the only one that would need just a little bit of, of care. Is it probably quite easy to snap parts off? Wow. Look at the detail on the face. That is something special. I like these sort of, they're almost on ballet points. Um, but I think they're claws, I don't think they're... Ballet shoes. Ugh. <laughs> 
That looks like a job for Dr. Pimple Popper. Um, ooh. Wow. <laughs> the thing that would concern me is how close these sort of spiky hands are to this clearly fit to burst. Um, the, the pustules on the back there. There's way too many spikes close to it. Um, but I just love the detail in that face. I mean, for something so tiny, they have managed to really capture a, a solid expression there. I think all those tentacles are coming out of that mouth as well. So, wow. And this last one is slightly chunkier, dude. Um, almost an ape-like face. Interestingly, uh, I'm not as, as big a fan of this this face sculpt as I was of all of the others. Um, I don't know why that is. It might be just that it doesn't do anything for me. The the the, the enlarged teeth or whatever. Uh, the belly detail though is fantastic. I love this. It's just this mess of writhing tentacles um and is that like pulling intestines on the floor as well kind of looks like it is a bit of a mold line there yeah just coming across the bottom so that'll take a little bit of of attention to get that just looking right uh but yeah that's that's cool as well uh yeah lovely um Loving those little details. Love the uh, other side logo on the bottom of the faces. First time I've seen other side, so maybe that's old news to people who have been collecting them and playing with them. Uh, I really like those minis. Um, I think the attention to detail, the facial expressions, the, the build quality, uh, looks like there's very little to be done on them as regards cleaning up. Uh, and it's kind of turned me around a little bit for weird games because I'd had such a bad experience on that previous one that I bought, but I love their website and I'd gone, I'd looked at their mini so many times. I spent hours and hours just going through all the different Malifaux things and other side. Um, I'm putting it off and putting it off. But the one, one, when I saw these were pre-assembled, I was like, okay, maybe that might make my life a little easier. And yeah, I am not disappointed. This is a brilliant box set. These are incredible sculpts. You could use these in for Nurgle, for any sort of like nightmare, hell spawn kind of diorama thing. You could probably use these in Age of Sigmar. Um, of course, you could use these for their intended purpose, which is the other side. Uh, but there's a lot of sort of use you could get out of them. Um, I might actually use these with the others as well to see what they look like together from Simon at Come On, Cool Mini or Not, as I think they'd fit in there really well. Uh, see what they look like against those acolytes and abominations and stuff you get with the others. Uh, absolute round of applause to the sculptors, because that is, that is some stunning work in there. Um, yeah, fantastic. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that unboxing and hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye now.